Okay, hi math friends. We are here on day four of online lessons. We are on lesson 712 today. I hope it's been going well for you. So remember, you need to have with you your math journal, a pencil, and a piece of paper. All right, let's get started with our warm up. You will need your piece of paper to write down the answer to these dividing equally questions. So we are breaking apart groups equally and you're determining how many each person would get. The first one, if you were to share six pennies equally between two people, how many pennies would each person get? Each person would get three pennies. All right, those six pennies this time divided between three people, how many would each person get? each person would get two pennies. And finally, if those six pennies were only divided among one person, how many would that person get? Of course, that's kind of silly. That person would get all six pennies. All right, let's do a few more. This time, instead of six, we are gonna share 12 pennies equally. And for the first one, 12 shared equally among two people. each person would get six pennies. If those 12 pennies were shared among three people, how many pennies would each person get? 12 divided by three equally is four. And then finally, 12 pennies divided equally among, it's not wanting to slide, among six people. 12 pennies among six people each person would get two pennies. We have three more to go. And this time, instead of 12 pennies, we have 20 pennies. If you were to share 20 pennies between two people, how many would each person get? They would get 10. A little trickier this time. If we were to share 20 pennies among three people, if I were to think about this and want to show my thinking, I might draw my three people, as we do, and then pass out 20 pennies equally. Let's do that together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, uh-oh, 1920 isn't enough to pass out equally. So I'm going to have these two left over. So I can see that each person has six pennies and there are two left over. So my answer would be that each person gets six pennies with two left over. Let me erase. All right. Finally, what if those 20 pennies were shared among nine people? 20 pennies shared among nine people. If it helps you, you can do the same thing about drawing out your thinking, except this time, instead of three people, we're gonna pass out to nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine people. And we're still passing out 20. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, I definitely don't have enough pennies left to go one more time through, so I'm going to have those two left over. Then I can see that each person has two pennies and there are two left over. So the answer would be two pennies each with two left over. Another way that we sometimes write that is two remainder two. All right, you're still going to need 
paper for the next exercise. So if you need to pause and grab another sheet, go ahead and do that and come on back. Or if you have room on the back, go ahead and flip your paper over. All right, we have been talking about fractions as one whole being either maybe a whole fraction circle or a number line between zero and one or a whole fraction strip. And today's lesson switches our thinking a little bit. We're going to be thinking of fractions as part of a collection of things. So let's look at this first example together and um, I'll ask you to work it out on your paper. It says, Jules has a stamp collection with 12 stamps. She puts half of her stamps on one page and half on another page. How many stamps are on each page? You could use counters or drawings to help. Go ahead and work on your piece of paper to figure out how many stamps on each page. All right, if I were to use drawings, I know that we have two pages here, so I could draw two pages and put 12 stamps equally on those two pages. So here we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. If I've put half on one page and half on another page, I see that each page has six stamps. Another way that I could say that is six out of all 12 stamps is on each page, which is the same as one half being on each page. All right, we're gonna take these same 12 stamps and break them up a little bit differently. Let me erase this writing. All right, if we instead have these 12 stamps and we want to divide them equally this time among three pages, how many would be on each page? Well, again, I could draw out my three pages, one, two, three, and pass out the 12 stamps equally. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. This time you can see that each page has four stamps, four stamps, or if I want to say what fraction would be on each page, four out of the whole 12 would be on each page. The same thing as if we look at this one, two, three as the whole, one of these out of all three of the pages. Four twelfths or one third is the fraction that would be on each page. Let's divide it up yet again. If the 12 stamps this time were divided equally among four pages, how many would be on each page? So you know the drill. We're gonna draw those four pages and we're gonna pass out 12 stamps. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So, how many stamps are in each page? It's easy to see that three stamps are on each page. Then, when we would, would want to come and name that as a fraction, we would say that three out of the total twelve are on each page, three twelfths. Or that is the same thing as one out of a total of one, two, three, four. So we could also name that fraction as one fourth. One fourth of the stamps would be on each page. All right, 
Would you please get out your journal now and hit pause if you need to, but go ahead and open up to journal page 249. 249. All right, it says solving number stories using collections. It obviously right here says solve. You can use counters and draw pictures to help. Let's do the first one together and then you're gonna finish this page on your own. Number one, it says two people share a collection of eight pennies equally. How many pennies does each person get? Using our same method, we're gonna draw those two people. And this time we're passing out eight pennies equally. So let's do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you can see that each person gets four pennies. Then the next question is, what fraction of the pennies does each person get? The fraction is each person gets, oh, so sorry. Each person gets four eighths, four out of eight, or that is the same thing. You can write it either way as one half, meaning they get all of this out of two of them. Either fraction, four eighths or one half is correct and you can write it either way. All right, your job today, oh, silly. Your job today is to finish this page, Math Journal page 249, and then move on as usual to Math Boxes. So today it's Math Boxes 7.12 and Homelink, maybe you wanna save it till this afternoon. Home link 7.12 as well. Always your parents can email me if you have any questions um, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Good luck friends. Bye.